What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We're gonna go over what is wrong with the game, what needs to be fixed, and all that good stuff. So, before we get into the video, if you guys could please drop a like, drop the sub, 110 likes in the video, we'll give away MT on Twitter, so make sure to follow my Twitter down below. And also, bro, we're gonna run this ad. Now. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit sportstmb.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. In this game, honestly, there's a lot to talk about. Um, stuff that's obviously wrong. If you guys didn't see, Shaken Bay did leave the community. And honestly, if I was him, I would have left the community years ago. Because honestly, if you're that big of a YouTuber, you should not be posting 2K anymore. At least to his extent, like content-wise and stuff. Because honestly, it's so boring sometimes. Um... As for him, he's been doing it for like 10 years. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. The game degressed like that. Like it degressed a ton. And for him to leave is honestly, I'm okay with it. He's one of the goats, literally the goats of 2K. So he is literally like, we're literally lost a leader in the 2K community. That's all I'm going to say. But there's so much reason why. Also, bro, if you guys want to see like a pack squad gameplay or something like that, let me know down below because I will start that up. But, okay, so. What needs to be fixed in this game? Okay, I'm honestly just gonna straight up go right at it and say gameplay. In my opinion, the gameplay is so ass. The top, like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I cannot even play 12 and 0 because it's so toxic. Like, kids literally run back and forth, and I, I can't. Ben Simmons' oval is unstoppable. I have tried everything. He actually, I just played a game actually online. I lost. The kid just made fading threes in my face with Ben Simmons. Like, it's Ben. He has never shot a three. He just made one three in his career. Like, I just got him. I had to get him on the squad. Because first off, if you don't have Ben Simmons, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Like, straight up. Like, this card is a god. I got him for 480k. All fully Evo with the three-month shoot. Huge W. I made, I can sell him for like six. But that's not the point, bro. The point is, is how bad this game actually is right now. Like, I came to the conclusion that online is a waste of my time. I'm not going to play 12-0. I'm not going to go 12-0 because out of those 12 games, I'm going to verse one kid that is so cheesy that it's almost impossible to stop. And it's going to make me break my remote and scream and, like, my parents are going to freak out. So, that's number one. The gameplay is straight garbage. It's not basketball. It's run back and forth, throw up lobs, dunk the ball, throw up threes. Fading from out of bounds, freaking Kobe shots all day, they go in. The defense is non-existent. Switch defense, non-existent. If you sit in the zone, it gets exposed. I've tried everything. I've looked up YouTube videos. Obviously, I'm good. I actually went 11-1. I couldn't win. I went 11-1. I don't want to talk about it. I'm a pretty good Monty player. I'm not going to say I'm one of the best. I'm pretty freaking good. I went 11-1 multiple times. I still have yet to go 12-0, though. I have been 11-1 so many times, bro. I don't want to talk about it, but... The fact is that if you have an opal squad, you shouldn't be able to lose to budget squads also. Because if you think about it, unless you're really good at the game, that is what I'm saying. But like, if you're going to make budget cards a different tier, they shouldn't be able to compete with opals and they shouldn't be in the same freaking bracket 2k. Their matchmaking is so ass. Like, this squad right here, it is not that good. It's pretty trash. I just matched up with Opal Simmons with this squad, bro. Look at this squad, and look at this squad. What are they doing? This is the issue. So, obviously, this squad is 100 times better. Like, this squad, I could match up with a squad like this. That is not fair. And this is the problem with their whole matchmaking. It's so bad, because you can't have a diamond that has 93 and 99... If a freaking Opal has 99.99, you're going to match up with them. If this Diamond card is 96.97, 97.97, you're going to match up with Opals. 
their matchmaking goes from 92 overall to 99 or 98. So then what is the point of matchmaking? There is no evidence. There's nothing behind it. Like their matchmaking process is so ass. Like I've never seen anything like it. Whatever they're doing, whoever is in that 2K studio literally deserves a freaking smack in the head, bro. Like, I don't understand. If I have an oval squad, I go up against oval squad. If I have a budget squad, I go up against budget squads, period. You shouldn't be versing oval squads when you're a budget squad. That is not fair. You're not going to go 12 and 0 that way. That is what I'm going to say. The, the gameplay, the matchmaking is garbage. Trash. Next up, TTO boards. Look, I just quit the game because I, I freaked out. Literally, bro. Triple threat online boards. I'm actually probably going to put up this clip. They are so bad. They are disgusting. And honestly, I don't care. I'm complaining because I'm sick. I literally, I'm going to take Shake and Bake's role because, bro, I love when Shake and Bake would talk about stuff that they needed to fix and they never fixed it. Literally, bro. Triple threat on my boards. I had a five W. I had a five ball drop. I got 250 MT, 100 MT, and one token as a five ball drop. Dude, I just went off in triple threat, had one loss. And you're going to tell me that I'm not good enough to at least get one of the pink diamonds on boards, bro. If you go undefeated on triple threat and you get that reward, what are you doing? Why are you playing the game? I literally don't even know what the hell that is are they serious right now i'm going to grind like what is it 10 games 12 games to get a freaking 100 mt reward 2k 100 mt what does that do for me do you see how much mt i have on the screen 100 mt is that gonna help me 2k i'm going to waste 10 minutes of my life for 100 mt and have no chance i've played probably 30 triple threat online games and i haven't got anyone on boards so they're all they're flakes bro literally it's like pulling a galaxy opal at this point to get them all triple threat board i literally go online i haven't seen any of the cards i've seen probably i probably played like 30 online matches no i played like between unlimited and triple threat i probably played like 60 online matches i haven't got one guy with one of the cards. i got one guy with marcus cammy and one guy with the richie whatever his name is that's it so like what okay first next up this one's this one's gonna this one's gonna be interesting <sighs> The Sim games, bro. They're, they're, I just, I, my voice cracked. I don't care. The Sim games, bro. Like, I just don't understand. What is this, bro? Like, this is not helping me. So, okay. I'm going to say this right now. It's cool. I'm not going to say it's not. But the whole 150 games thing is absurd. If you actually are going to sit here for 150 games, you're insane. Um, Why do I say this? Because the Pascal and Ingram are not good enough, in my opinion. They're really not good enough. They really aren't. I'm not even gonna lie. I rather Diamond Malcolm Brogdon and uh, Diamond Cam Reddish. Cause straight up, I'm gonna tell you those cards like Opal Harden, bro. Why do I need Opal Harden on my team? I want him so bad because I love Harden. But like, who needs Harden at Giannis, Ben Simmons, and Levine? I, I don't need him. I seriously, you're gonna spend 70 hours of your day. Go ahead. Have fun. I will literally be gladly sniping, playing some online unlimited while losing. So yeah. But back to unlimited, bro. Unlimited is the worst game mode ever. First off. Like, what is 12 and 0? I'm gonna get an opal that I could buy on the auction. Dude, the worst. The, literally, I can't. I literally don't know what to say anymore. I'm literally shocked. I mean, I could just rant all day. The unlimited gameplay. I, I don't understand 12 and 0 congrats you get an oval what? like let's let's look at this I can't look at it but if you look at the rewards one one win you get like a pack two wins you get a pack three wins you get a pack if you go 12 and 0 you're talking about 12 sweaty online galaxy opal loser nerd gameplays and you're not gonna give the kid the 12 packs and the James worthy I, I don't know I have enough to say like their single player game mode their online game modes their game modes suck and honestly you guys can easily agree. I'm not crazy because I know I'm not crazy. Is I literally live in the 2K community all day. The game needs to be fixed. And not only that, the collector levels, bro. There's no point of collecting these, bro. If you collect these, you're crazy. These cards aren't worth it, bro. This AD could get locked up on my damn Lonzo ball, bro. 
If you really think about it, if you have Hall of Fame clamps, bro, you can lock up this car. I, I just, I don't know. I just love ranting about the game. That's really it. Like, if you guys have anything else I should talk about, let me know. And not only that, bro, the whole Ben Simmons Evo thing, why? It's just, what is that? Like, you're going to be going to a 90. Like, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm honestly kind of fed up. I've been playing a lot, and honestly, I kind of just want to, like, chill out for a little bit because, bruh, this game is so toxic, though. It's like, bro, I obviously want to play it. I'm going to continue to play it. It's just, oh, my God, bro. Like, I go to bed with, like, every time I lose a game late at night, I get so pissed because, like, this game is like so in like i hate it losing in this game is so ass because you know when you verse good kids online and you lose no no when you verse good kids you know if you're versing them when you lose to the kid that is not good at the game he's just cheesy but like you know you can stop him but you literally can't because you can't because the game's broken and everything goes this way like those games are the games i want to kill myself because like i literally went 11 and 1 and I lost to a kid by two points because of some crazy animation garbage. I have all the clips on my account. But, yo, that's all I got for the video. I'm sorry for ranting. I had to do it because this game is terrible. But, yeah, we're going to be back with some more gameplay and stuff. If you want to see pack squads, no money spent, let me know. I will run it. I will run it up, bro. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.